Hey guys, welcome back to another Desmos crafting tutorial. Um, I just want to let you know that it is not YouTube that is limiting that is limiting me to only ten minute recordings. Um, I'm recording on a laptop with Screencastify. This laptop has a built -in mic, like all other laptops, I imagine. But um, but Screencastify only limits limits me to uh, ten minute recordings. All right. Um. So last time we left off, we uh, I believe we started adding some detail to this building. Um. Today we're going to going to uh, finish this building and probably going to add. I'm thinking just add one more window here, and then uh, actually start building on this tower and as for next time uh, I'm thinking uh, I start adding some lamp posts on this other side because the other side is looking, looking pretty boring and uh, all, all the we're adding all the good stuff over here so let's get to it so, um, so to add another window we just follow, follow this same process so um, so this next window is going to be one unit away from this side. So let's so that is negative four. So we're going to make it go from negative three, and it's going to negative five because it wants up to the right of it, not to the left. And then this is going to and this is. Three units long, <clears throat> so it's going to stop at negative eight. No, it's two units long. So stop at negative seven. There we go. And this is going to have the same bounds. Then uh, we're gonna have have the lines with the same y boundaries. So I'm gonna just copy and paste that to the next two. It's gonna be x equals negative seven and x equals negative eight. Oops, negative five. So uh, that is this building for now. I know we are missing missing uh, some more detail, like we like uh, we might want to have another window here, but this is not going to be a nice and easy square. This, this is going to look more like a general quadrilateral. Hey, um, so let's work on this tower. Uh, so first thing, let's make this more like this building. So we're gonna. Add another side like that. It's going to have a line right here at the very bottom. Uh, is this very bottom, and that's at looks like it's going to be uh. X is negative two. And Y is 2.5. Then we want to add a slope to it. Let's make a 0 0.75. Oh, that works perfectly. Um, let's do the same on the top. Except this one is going to be a little different. Instead of adding two, we're going to add eight because this is where where, where the wider intersects. And then the, instead of positives, it's going to be negative. Okay, um, negative okay, um, the slope actually needs to be bigger because we want this line to intersect at the vanishing point.
That said, I kind of want to check this. Okay. That looks correct. Okay, and let's have a line at around here. So that's 1.5, negative 1.5, because this on the other side is zero. It's going to go from 2.875 to 7. They're going to also set the Y boundaries for this one. You can set X boundaries too. The X boundaries are... Okay, actually X boundaries are easier. So let's do... Negative 2 less, is less than X. It's going to, it's going to go from negative 2... It's going to stop at 1.75. Not 1.5. No, 1 .5. And this bottom line will have the same boundaries. All right, and uh, and towers usually have have another segment going from it. So let's make this section. Let's make one right here, negative three point two five. And let's make this one negative two point two five. I'm going to cut this off This looks like a good spot Yeah, this looks like a good spot at at 11 So we're going to draw a line And now we can you know, let's set this bounds. Let's set these boundaries first. They have three point twenty five, and then we can set these boundaries too. This is this goes from eight to eleven. And the uh, last thing before we before we, before we end, we're going to add another line. So we're gonna have a line over here. Sets called y equals plus two point two five, and then we're gonna add eleven. As for slowly out the experiment around. Okay, this is going to have a slope of negative three point one two five. Okay, um and then let's have this cutoff line at around negative one point seven five. Let's see how that works out. That works out well. Um, once I have 20 more seconds of free recording, I, I will end it here. Um, so, so, uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like if you found this helpful. Also subscribe to catch uh, catch uh, videos for uh, for future weeks. And I'll see you guys next time.